Hello children, how are you all? Indeed, it's a pleasure for all of us to meet you, to talk to you and to share our joy through this St. John's YouTube channel. Before I could go into the details, I wish you all happy Children's Day. This November 14th, 2020, a special day. Children, you are precious and you make our lives so beautiful. Without you in the school campus, it's like a total silence, a muting silence. And we want to reach you Indeed, it is a heartbreaking that we are not able to have the physical celebrations on this very special day. But still, we can associate with one another virtual online celebrations. Children, it is a happy occasion. And you are very important. You teach us many important things. November 14th, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru's birthday is celebrated as Children's Day in India. Every country has its own special day. But for us, yes, today is Children's Day. It's your day. Once when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru is the first Prime Minister of Independent India, when someone asked him, can you give some time to talk to us? And he openly said, I don't have time for adults, but I do have a lot of time for children. What a beautiful saying. That's why his birthday is celebrated as Children's Day. He keep all his, even the administration office at PM's office. He keep it aside to talk to the beautiful minds of young children of India. I would like to bring three important things. What you teach us. You might have heard a novelist, a lyricist writer, Paulo Carlo. He has said, a child can teach us three important things. Teach us as adults. We can learn three things from you. The first is, a child teaches us to be happy for no reason. Adults need a reason to be happy. But for children, you are happy all the time for no reason that we should learn from you. Once I would like to give, maybe seven, eight years back, we had, during those days, we were having the nutrition day. Every week we used to celebrate one fruit day, one vegetable day at St. John's. And after the assembly, the special assembly of the lower class, presenting an apple day, a banana day, one of the first class child is walking in the lines, going back to the classroom from the assembly, from our beautiful campus ground, walking back to the class. And I was standing there next to the podium, the microphone. He came running. He looked at me. He gave a nice smile. He took the microphone and he said, hello, my testing. Hello, how are you? And he laughed. And I asked, hey boy, you have to walk in the lines. And then he said, what? Every time you only speak in the microphone, I do want to talk. And happily he ran away. He's so happy. For no reason. That teaches adults to be happy all the time. We need to be happy. That's what we learn from you children. The second one, according to Paula Coelho, the second one, the children are always busy. 
they are always busy and we have to learn that it's always busy we want to learn such beautiful things from you you're busy some even with the busy class is going on you will be busy sharpening your pencil listening to the teacher you'll be busy turning and looking at the pictures in the textbook you make yourself busy all the time that's why there is no scope for any of the evil or bad thought such an angelic minds you are the third one children you teach us to speak and to express very clearly what you want whatever you want whatever you want you ask right that's what even the adults many times we tend to feel if i ask they may think something let them only think that i need it and we may lose our precious time and precious things without asking the other day 10 days back a third class child walked into my office during this pandemic he just came to say hello to me he came with mother he is extremely happy he is just looking at me he didn't even wish good morning or good afternoon ma'am and mother is asking him hey boy you wish ma'am you came to see her no and i said good afternoon he is so happy looking at me because it's more than 7 to 8 months that he didn't see me it's only he is looking at my videos but he didn't meet me physically so he came he sat in front of me uh, in my office and he asked me a straight question ma'am you told that you will enter into our zoom classes but someone else is always entering into our class you're not entering into my section at all your principal you should be entering into my class i was like you know a surprise and i was very happy that the boy expressed himself so nicely then i said please you have to excuse principal sometimes because the principal will take the help of coordinators to enter into your zoom classes all the time i may not find so much time to enter into all sections but definitely i'll be entering into your section that is the mind of the child they express everything very clearly and adults should learn that three important one is always being happy with no reason second you have everything like busy doing many things fully occupied third you just speak and make it very clear what you want you are beautiful children and you teach us so many things we thank you on the special occasion of children's day you make our lives beautiful and i would like to talk to the parents one simple aspect dear parents do not fancy your children after your dreams many of us go wrong we try to rub our dreams our desires our passions on that young minds no your child is unique special they have their own interests they are god given gift to all of us and we have to guide them accordingly we have to just see what they want not what we want please parents try to understand the simple principle of life which we learn definitely this special occasion i want to remind three important things what we have taken an oath a pledge last year 2019 november 14th three things happened at st john's on november 14th one we started our water bells three water bells in a day children continue drinking the water at those three times in a day in spite of your busy schedule at home in spite of your zoom classes continue i want to reinforce your water bells timing second thing one child one plant our cbse ministry of human resource development last year has put forth a proposal one child one plant and many of you have done very well and you have sent me pictures also how are your plants children 
Are they growing healthy? If not, even today it's not too late. One child, one plant, anywhere. Grow the plants, save our earth, keep us safe. Let next generations also enjoy this beautiful planet earth. The third one, very, very important, Khadi. Khadi is an emotion to Indians. On the occasion of 150th birth anniversary of our father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, we have celebrated our Khadi Day. Incorporate Khadi, Khadar, in your wardrobes. Make sure that Khadi binds us as one nation. Children, I bring all these things into your minds once again so that you all can live a very peaceful, a very healthy life. And this 2020, November 14th, is very, very special because of you being at home, we being at school, and we are connected virtually. Let us continue this good work of learning together. It's a mutual learning. You learn and we learn. Let us make our lives better day by day. Stay safe, children. Take care of yourself. Do what best you can do to help others and help your parents. Have a wonderful Children's Day once again. Take care. God bless you all.